Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 4 of season 3 of Yuki Unity Heroes. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. I still hate the fact that she's got to literally sacrifice herself. Like, I was expecting, see, cause look at her, oh my god, she pushes baby girl. Like, we've already had, you know, Jin, and still, once again, fourth week on this show, it still hurts. But, we just met this girl at the end of episode one, and I don't want her to die. She's already a part of the group. And it'll be really fucked up. And Ibuki can't see her again, you know? I mean, because they kind of have, like, a romantic thing. They're not going to cut the tree that they just planted down over. Jesus, are you serious? Didn't they just plant that? Right, right, right. Literally all that planting y'all did last week to just take it down this week. What the heck is that? That's a little messed up, though. Something's coming. 
bolts and things in. They had to be because they were just waiting until the right moment where everything was clear and they were like, hey, Stardust, be your ish. Everybody okay though? The fuck? Oh! Um. That bad. That they want to kill y'all for it, of course. Oh, no. Oh, God, she's bleeding. Come on, reach her, reach her, reach her, reach her. Please be okay. Oh, don't do this. There's more. Oh my god. Y'all are not getting out of this live. Oh my god. Hold up. We can't be sacrificing ourselves like this. Come on now. Oh, she looks like Jen right there. Stop. No. Ah, uh, my heart.
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God, she's not going to make it. You're gonna go home. Okay, can we just hurry up and go home and get her to the hospital, please? If they go into manga.
I don't want this. Hey, I don't want this. Mm-mm. 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 No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm. So, Aya, you're not going to be sacrificed? Because in the end, twelve dollars are being sacrificed. So now twelve dollars just gone. Like, oh, I don't like this. Yeah, she's just gone. What the? F- she's even gone out of the. Oh my. Y'all really, y'all really did this. Oh. This ain't cool. Like, what the fuck? But don't you want to be everything that you did? No. Yeah, don't you want to be with Yuna? Oh, you gonna make me cry. It's about to be a rescue mission for the rest of the damn series. Oh my god, I'm not okay. (laughs) What the fuck is that?
Of course. Of course it did. All right, y'all didn't have to do that. <laughs> you did not have to do that, seriously. Like that ass, you did not have to do that. Oh my God, my heart. Just seeing her, even though she is still dead. Oh, y'all was just like, yep, we gonna make Dita Kennedy. <laughs> Oh, God, it's hear her again. It's been such a long time. Like, oh, my God. It's been, like, years. It feels like it's been forever. Jesus Christ. Like, the, but the fact is, you know, she was only there because she remembered her. Oh, God. What if this series just ends with all of them dying and then all of them being together? I would like that. That would just, that would make me so happy. It really would. Because, I mean, in the game, she's technically alive. And I'm okay with her being alive with that. But like, still, at the same time, you just want her to be alive in the anime. But, like, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, God. That was too much in the feels. I mean, the battle with Mibuki and everything, that was very interesting. Thank God no one died. Because we would have had a problem. But... Something just tells me from five to the end of this, we're we're really gonna see some death with these girls and it's gonna hurt. It really truly is, but like, oh my god, you, you, you had to do that today. You were just like, yeah, we're gonna make you cry today. Like, oh, you've already laughed in Aqua Top and freaking Comey Kon sign. You're gonna cry today, Deja. Like Y'all really did that. Really. Y'all just like, yep, mm -hmm, she's gonna cry. She's gonna cry. We did it, boys. We did it. We made her cry today. Like, oh my god. Pat yourself. Give yourselves a round of applause because I was not ready for that. I don't think anybody who watched this episode today was gearing up to see her because I was thinking that like specifically when this season started that we were never going to get like a flashback a little like montage of Jin and we got it like the fourth freaking episode oh my god I mean yeah to go into episode one to have so um Sonochi and Togo talk about her for like a moment, a moment. I was like, you know what, that's okay. I was like, I'm, I'm happy with that. At least y'all are talking about her so that you know that it's always started with you three. But then to show her, to show her today, like, oh my God, like y'all really went in today. I was just like, yeah, mm -hmm. we are making Khadija cry today. Yep, Queen Deez is crying today. Like, I don't care what you say, she is crying today. Like, boom. We doing it. I really enjoyed it though. Like, oh my god. But it just really now that like we've gone into two it, it feels like we've gone into two different universes where both Aya and Togo have both been sacrificed. So what the heck is gonna happen now that they both officially in a way have been sacrificed in some way, shape, or form? Because like when um Mebu woke up, Aya was okay. And when Washi woke up, she was waking up in a hospital and she's okay. So what the hell is about to happen with the fact is that 
possibly, even though, yes, while she was sacrificed, she's now fine. Is it a way, like, are we going to find out a way to get Jim back and have this girl be living? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all need to do something. I, I, I Please, I beg you. Hopefully that happens. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction. That is my reaction view towards episode four of season three of Yuki Yuna is a Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode five. Bye, guys.